What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a brand new Tokyo Ghoul video. It's been a while since I made one of these so I'm like let me you know, get back into the groove of things and start um, and start actually uh, you know, putting out some content for the game. Now of course uh, I will leave a couple of codes, I'll probably leave like 5 codes down below uh, in the description comment section somewhere. So be sure if you want the codes. It gives you like 200 free gems, some extra goodies and things like that. Uh, it's one code per person, so just because, I know someone mentioned it last time, like one person, you know, like why'd you put all the codes right next to each other, one person used them all. It doesn't work like that. Uh, your account can only redeem one code and after that, you can't redeem anymore. So, that way it's like, you know, it gives everyone a fair shot, like one person can't just take them all. Uh, moving forward, today's video is going to be on what gear should you wear and what is the best gear to wear you know whatever you want however you want to say it so let's go over the three types of gear and break down the who you should be putting what gear on specifically now most of this is pretty understood but some things are my own personal opinions on who should wear what gear but let's start off with what the different types of gears are to begin with right so we have the most, I'd say, common set of gear is the raid set, which focuses on attack. There are three sets of gear. You have the raid, defense, and balance. So the raid set gives you specifically extra damage on everything that it does. And pretty much the way this works is that every set has bonuses that you can that apply when you have X amount of you know pieces in that set so having four pieces is the full set and then you need two pieces minimum to have the just you know the first part of a set bonus if that makes sense but right now i have all four bonuses of the set right here and as you can see you got 10 percent attack 20 percent attack damage amplified by 12 percent or additional 12 percent and then the set skill which only applies when you have all four pieces are uh, you know attack to have 15% chance to cause damage to that target twice now you can see here that it's amplified level 3 this is because that my gear is uh, orange or legendary whatever you want to call it and because of that uh, you know these stats are you know better so every other color will have the same sort of effect but it won't be the numbers won't be as high so maybe the the blue set will have like damage amplify like 8% and then you know the set skill will be a 10% chance to cause damage twice I should take a look at it but All right so this is what it would be for the blue uh, green things don't have a set skill but they have set bonuses but you get rid of green you know gear very quickly so I'm not even gonna bother with that so as you can see here this is what the blue is they so got attack plus six attack plus 12 damage amplified but plus four percent and then you have a 5% chance to cause damage to that target twice. So you can clearly see that you know, there's a big difference when you go up in tiers. This is the purple. I'll let you guys take a look at that. You can pause it if need be. And then of course we have the, the orange set. Now this is the raid set. This is the most common set. And very simply, this is just going to go on all your DPS characters. So make sure that whenever you get a new DPS character, and you can tell that they have a little fist up here, their damage focus, that you want to be giving them the... You always want to be giving them the raid set, right? So these three all have raid gear on them. But now if we come down to Sukiyama, for example, I'm actually missing a piece right here, but this is the balance set right over here. And what the balance is, it's a mixture of everything. It's a mixture of the defense, like so, it's a mixture of HP, defense, and attack, right? So it gives you a little bit of everything, and it's overall just very well rounded, though, which is the point of it, right? So you get attack plus 10%, HP plus 20%, damage resistance plus 6%, and then the set skill is attack to have 8% chance to stun the target for one second. Now, what this is good on is people who are like there's pure tanks like you can typically give balance sets to support units right because support units tend to have more damage than your 
tanks, and they they do like some damage, but they don't do a lot of damage. Typically, my ideal thing, like I'll explain it more later on, but I tend to not use balance sets that often. The reason I just have it on here is because you know this is I just happen to have these pieces, so I'm gonna use this over any purple set that I have. The HP is nice, the damage resistance is nice, but the problem is that you want your your DPS to do the damage and you want your everything else to live. That's really it, right? Because what happens is your supports that you run tend to have effect moves like stuns and slows and damage increases and whatever. And their their main purpose is never to do damage, right? It's just there to to help out. So if they're dead, they can't really help out. And then you know whether it's through heals or whatever and the dps's just want to do all the damage right you, know, you want to rely on the dps's to do all your damage and because of that uh the balance set in my opinion is the worst of the three sets that doesn't make it bad i'm just saying if you are to rank them uh in terms of importance the balance set is like the least important one what makes it actually better or not better than something else but not like completely bad is that its set skill is really good having the chance to stun is just amazing uh, it's stunning for one second is a lot of time right in one second like it, it may not seem like a big deal but if you get stunned like if you get stunned in the game even for one second you feel like it's eternity so because of that the balance set is not bad but i wouldn't like it's not my first choice of gear to go to people that i would put it on would be like for example sukiyama who does some damage uh i i would also put it on people like uh, Tadara, uh, Itsuki, mm. I don't really use anyone else, yeah, I guess, like, Tadara, Itsuki, um, uh, you know, Sukiyama, those people I would use the balance set on. Now, the last set is the defense set, which is... In my opinion, probably the most important one. Maybe not. Maybe rate, rate is better. But what does the defense set look like? Defense set is just stacking HP and damage resistance. You got 30% HP in total, right? And the way the, the thing works is, uh, my bad for not saying this before, the each, they stack on top of each other, right? So this is 30% HP increase. And then the damage resistance, 12%, you know, that's just good. 12% less damage taken. And then they have a heal. 10% uh, chance to restore 9% HP based on caster's HP limit, meaning their total HP. So, for example, I have 300,000 HP here, right? So, restoring 9% is a, is a number. But what is? I actually don't know. I wish I could do math. This is kind of bad, considering that I'm, a, <laughs> I'm an engineering major. You got 300,000, so 10% is this number right here. It would be 10% would be 30,000, right? So you'd be restoring 30,000 HP whenever you pull it off. Why did I go to that? I'm going to go here. So every, you, so for example, one in 10 hits will restore you 30K HP. And now this is really nice because, you know, it's just a way to keep your tanks alive. And since this game, for example, in arena or other things is mostly AI controlled, having your tanks, like when, when the enemy starts hitting your tanks, and your tanks are healing, it makes the game so much easier. You start winning Arena a lot more, you start winning, uh, you know, like Cochlea Crusade, Ghoul Expulsion, things of that nature. It makes it significantly better. This is just an overall very well, like just an amazing defense, like defensive set of gear, which is what it's made for, to go on your units. Now, every single tank should be getting this. There's no tank in the game that should not be wearing the defense set. And then for supports, Every single support in the game, you could just toss this on and it'll be perfectly fine. But for the most part, like like I said, the only people who are really well with the balance set would be Tadara, Itsuki, uh, Tsukiyama. So those people I would give balance to, but everyone else, defense all the way. Like Hinami, most people run Hinami, right? Considering that Hinami is such a good unit. Let's see. So Hinami is all about that lifesteal and she has a stun as well. So you should want to make sure that she stays alive because you don't want to rely on that 8% chance of stun. She has a guaranteed stun, right? 
So you want her to stay alive the entire time and pull off her stun as many times as she can. And it's just better. Uh, if you know if your defense units are alive, it means that your DPS units aren't getting focused. And that's just how it should be. So if your defense units stay alive, your support units stay alive, your DPSs are doing more damage. And that's really it at the end of the day. But I switch them off, I don't know. So if there's anything else that you guys are curious, let me know. Uh, I think I'll make a video on RC cells next. I actually have to upgrade my RC cells a good amount. I've been slacking on these. But that is mostly it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out those codes down below. Leave a comment down below. If you want to see something else, let me know. So smash that subscribe button. We are less than 500 subscribers away from 20,000 subs. And that's it. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.